comment down below so that you can be eligible for cash giveaways. Uh, the algorithm will choose you at random and we need to have you in the comments down below. Otherwise, if we don't know who you are, we can't give you away. Uh, not give you away. We don't give you away, but we do give away <laughs> to those that are eligible uh, some cash. So comment down below if you want a chance at the cash. Hit the notification bell somewhere over there and subscribe if you haven't already. More to come. If you feel like a spineless little weasel when you're trying to prospect and get sales, then this video is for you. When I first got started, I was 17 years old. Could have been 16, I don't remember, but 16 or 17. There was no internet, and you know what? I was a spineless little weasel like you. I had no confidence. I used to crap my pants at the thought of trying to sell something to somebody. Any kind of marketing made me sick, but you know what didn't make me sick? what I wanted and the purpose of this video is to let you know that if you are a little wimp if you're a little chicken if you need to put a little dress on male or female because it's a figurative thing it's not a literal thing meaning and call me chauvinistic if you want but I'm not chauvinistic the point is typically males are usually not always more how should I put it caveman-ish than females and that's the way it's supposed to be it's the law of the land there should be some femininity in being a female and there should be some aggressivity in being a male now with that being said what I'm trying to get across to you is and that might have not been the greatest example and if I've upset some of you I do apologize but I do believe I speak the truth so long story short if you're a little chicken poop I won't use the sh you know what word then this video is for you so look the way to get confidence and the way to be able to be successful is to make sure that you understand that it's a little thing is little 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 very little things a bunch of them hundreds of them that give you confidence because with every little victory that you get <clears throat> every little victory that you achieve you actually start to do better so what do I mean by that? Well, when you're first starting with SMMA, it's not gonna be that, oh, wow, look at me, I got this, this AMG Mercedes and you know it happened in a day and I was able to pick up and lease or buy an 80, 90, $100,000 car. It's gonna be in that you got by the gatekeeper, you spoke to the owner, you didn't beg for an appointment. You didn't beg for 10 minutes of their time. You did it with authority. You need to be politely stern. You know, I had somebody send me a message, a viewer, the other day. They, they hit me up on Twitter, actually. They didn't even comment on YouTube. And they said to me, what do I need to learn? What do I need to learn before I get started? And when people ask me this and they've told me they've, you know, I'm assuming they've watched my videos, it worries me a bit, but I'm happy that they're asking. Uh, and he says, you know, what do I need to know? And when I share these things, I don't know if people put the right importance on what I'm sharing because I don't know if they understand. I wish I had my selfie stick for the car here today, but whatever, I'm using my hand. I hope they put enough gravity behind what I tell them because I've generated millions of dollars and I don't know if you understand what that means. It means that everything I tell you works extremely well but you need to master it you need to learn it you need to internalize it and you need to take it seriously not poo poo it there's no magic bullets there's nothing that anybody's going to teach you when you're new that's going to make you say oh i get it now and have you make 10 grand the following week look the little victories the little things that make you feel good are what's going to give you your confidence to make you a monster in terms of being successful it's not going to happen overnight so what you want to start with is knowing and feeling that you're in control how do you get to feel like you're in control when you're prospecting well i'll tell you how not to feel it don't talk to idiots don't talk to people that talk to you like you're trash. You need to be on an equal playing field. And the first and most important thing, which I talk about to nausea, and I'll continue to until people stop asking me what the most important things are. Not that I don't want you to ask me, so don't take that wrong. You need to know who to keep on the phone. If you call a person and they sound nice, meaning they're upbeat, they don't need to be, um, I gotta switch hands, my hand's killing me here. 
blocking the screen, but so be it. So, you know, you don't want to speak to people that answer the phone and sound like they're in a bad mood and are, are cranky and wanting to bite your, your, your head off. You want to speak to people that actually sound like, you know what, I got to grab the selfie stick because this isn't going to work. I had a tough workout yesterday in the gym also, not yesterday, the day before. Yesterday, the today, um, two days before, shoulders. So I'm going to grab the selfie stick and that way this will be more steady for you guys too. And I'll start the video. I'll pick up where I left off. So you need to not be a little chicken, basically. And you need to speak to people that are positive, meaning they don't need to be jumping up and down. But when you talk to them, they need to sound like a nice person because you're never going to make somebody who sounds like a, like a jerk or, you know, uh, a negative person to be nice. They're never going to become a great client for you ever. It doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter what you say. I'm trying to get out of the sun here for you guys. You're, you could be the best closer on planet Earth. You could have the best script. You could have the best products. You could be the one that's capable of taking their business from a million to a hundred million. You will never, ever sell them. So again, what's the single most important thing you need to understand? Simply put, speak to nice people. How do you know who's nice? Because of the way they answer the telephone, because when they pick up the phone, if they go, hello, hello, or they sound flat like, hello, listless, limp, they're not going to be a positive person. Positive people are more open, and because they're a more open personality, if you can communicate what you have for them, they're more likely to notice a good thing. Like in life, people that are flat, listless, negative, or not even negative, just wishy-washy, meaning nor here nor there in terms of their level of energy, they are more of a closed, negative personality, and they are less likely to recognize something good even when it falls into their lap. So what you need to do is you need to make sure that you understand this method. If I can make it clearer, if I can help you, because without this, it is the single most important thing you will ever learn with prospecting. There's nothing more important. There's nothing, there's not a single thing. It's not about your silly text messages. It's not your social media talent. It's not Facebook. It's not Twitter. It's not LinkedIn. It's none of that nonsense because all that stuff is nonsense if you don't know how to identify who the right person is to actually have a conversation with. And another thing, don't try to close your, your sales with your fingers with typing. You'll get some, but you will never, ever come close to being as effective, efficient, and proficient as having a conversation with another human being on the phone. And also, don't run to appointments. It's a time waster, time sucker, time killer. Use the phone correctly, then use your email and your text messaging and your website, your internet property, your properties. Do not try to replace a phone call with texting and typing. You will never make the kind of money that's going to make you feel like you've made it if you only use those methods with SMMA and with most types of prospecting. So that's it for today. See you on the next video. Good.